What's going on everybody, it's MoKeeper here back with a brand new video and in today's video I have a really cool and special review for you. This is actually like a time machine review. Um, we're going to go back in time here to 2011 where um, Eclipse Graphics and GI Bricks actually made a figure. So let's actually open this up here. I probably don't need this. Um, I'm just going to rip into it here. But this is something I've been waiting for in the mail for a minute. I used to have this figure as a kid back in the day when it was released. And, um, oh, <laughs> another surprise package. Um, I actually like the size of this one. Uh-oh, I wonder what that is. But um, I had this back in the day when I was a kid, and I'm really excited to get it again uh, because I think I sold it off um, during a dark age, my dark age of uh, Lego, so... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's super cool. This is the GI Brick CIA Operative. Um, it includes some brick arms weapons, and Eclipse Graphics printed this minifigure right there. And um, I actually have a special head here I want to compare um, that is made by Citizen Brick. So we're going to take a look at all of this right now. All right, dumping out the contents here, we're going to take a look. I might actually damage the card. I'm not careful here. I already see some bending at the corners. Yeah, as you can see. Wow, that's pretty damn cool. I'm going to set this stuff to the side and we're going to take a look at the exclusive card here. And this is exclusive to GI Brick designed by Eclipse Graphics. As you guys can see, this is the CIA operative and it's armed with brick arms. This is essentially Ghost. And like I said, this was released in 2011. Um, retail was $25 for this figure. I did not pay that on eBay. I will tell you that right now, but I'm definitely happy and thankful to have this minifigure. This is the back, and it tells you all of its accessories that it comes with. Every weapon and um, mini, even a minifigure stand, which is pretty cool. It even says more items available at www.gibrick.com, but that website is no longer available. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure what happened to GI Brick. Um, they're just no longer in business. And that is the bottom, it says contains small parts and not intended for children under three. Um, I don't have any kids, so that's no issue to me. I'm gonna set that to the side. We're gonna take a look at the other, oh, that's, you, you see that dent in there? I think that's because of his helmet. But this is a hero, pretty cool. I love this card as well. It has a good look at the minifigure. Oh cool, it has all, I remember this, it has all of his um, abilities and stuff. So intelligence is almost out of four, strength is almost at three and a half, speed is at a two and a half, durability is at three, and fighting ability is at a five, that's pretty cool. Um, special weapons are a black ARC and a black HC. SR and this is a number one. I'm not too sure what that means with the number one, but that's pretty cool And if you want to read that you can I'm not going to read that But this is the CIA operative like I said, so let's take a look at the minifigure So here's a better look at everything you'll receive in that package pretty damn cool I'm not gonna lie you get some type of sniper rifle and AK two types of ARs I believe a combat knife, a grenade launcher, a silence pistol, a U-clip, and a bipod, which is pretty cool because that's a lot of accessories. All of this for $25 back in the day was really honestly worth it. Um, here's a better look at the minifigure here. I mean, he's outstanding. This is what I expected, you know, for what this minifigure back in the day. I, I, I thought something so cool and then they went ahead and did it and i'm going to remove his gun so we can get a better look you also get this minifig stand which i really appreciate because it helps show the minifigure way better um i'm going to take off his helmet here because you do get this black combat helmet which is pretty cool as well um, he comes on the minifigure um, i noticed my print is a little strange looking but still it's pretty cool um, still represents Ghost in that way. I really do like the torso a lot. It's very heavily um, 
detailed you can see the mesh and all the pouches and clips pretty cool i like the knee pads on him as well and it's same for the belt buckle um, and on the back he doesn't have a belt printing which is all right um, but he does have um, back printing which is cool you can see that water canister um, or water pack and then some more of that mesh in some bags he's got gray hands pretty cool minifigure i'm not gonna lie I really do like this minifigure a lot. And I want to show you guys something that I thought was very interesting is Citizen Brick created their, and this is not included, Citizen Brick created their own ghost minifigure head and I wanted to just compare the two. So I'm gonna set everything aside and we'll show you the heads. All right, so on the right you have Eclipse Graphics ghost head and then on the left you have Citizen Brick's head. Obviously, we can tell which one is better. Citizen Brick wins. But um, for 2011, this was really cool. Um, and there was nothing out on the market like that. So that was really nice to have. I probably will switch my head out just because I like this detailed one a little better. Um, and like I said, this one kind of looks a little weird. Just slightly still represents Ghost. But the printing is not as strong as Citizen Brick's. All right, I went ahead and put his AR and grenade launcher back onto the minifigure. He overall, like I said, looks really cool. Very happy to have this minifigure. Um, the helmet, when it's on, you can see kind of covers his eyes. I'm not too sure if that's intentional, but yeah, pretty cool minifigure overall. Very happy to have him. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.